This next video is the feast. Again, was taken Gloucester History Festival weekend. I went on the Saturday. Um, I've loved the fleece. It used to be a hotel. It's hopefully the company who have got it. They specialise in refurbishing medieval and Victorian buildings back to their former glory. They are planning to open it as a hotel again, like the Regency in Cheltenham, which would be pretty cool. Um, I can't wait. I'm not sure when work will start, but it was so nice. I've always loved the feast from afar. So you park at a car park, you can look down on it. You walk past it, it's opposite of McDonald's. You walk past it every day. I mean, so many people walk past it and don't realize what an amazing building. It has an undercroft as well, which is really cool. So you see that in this video. Um, at the minute it is pretty der derelict, which is a shame. But hopefully one day work will continue and it will become the wonderful place it is again. So this is, I absolutely love the place. It has, I don't know if you can hear me gasp as I walk in, but it just, oh, it has my soul. It just takes my breath away. As soon as I walk in, you see this, it's just like. <gasps> so enjoy the video and enjoy discovering more about it. Much better than in person. Here, 
so the ground, the pillars are in the ground, and as they come back, they started to fall the, the floor to heave. And uh, most of the flagstones are about 900 years old, but uh, you can see here where they've patched it up and tried to make amends. And uh, if we look at this particular bay here, you can see the modern brickwork that has stabilised the wall. <laughs> we hope. <laughs> I was like, we hope. Yeah. Seems so, to be doing the job, so. We, so. This, we don't know where this is done. Other uses of the building uh, were uh, the fire storage area, uh, because the building was made of timber. And so when the city had the fires, and they had safe storage down here, so we would never go to the city like that. Also in World War II, it was used as an air raid shelter mm -hmm. and a club. Here, the, the uh, above this northern part here, the floor there has been reinforced because uh, of the danger of falling masonry if the area was bombed and masonry coming through the ceiling. So it's really been reinforced on the top up there. Behind these doors here is the original entrance. There's nothing to see there. It's more or less bricked up just as you go, uh -huh. go through there. Need to flash on. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, it is. You can still see the steps. Somebody's put 1766 there, but it's in modern handwriting, so it's clearly not 1766. I think this one's 1950 something. There's one. Uh, there's all bits of graffiti in here. I mean, the things we did when we were youngsters in these places, eh? And get away with it. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's all non I know. Not aggressive, isn't Man it? City. You know, nowadays. Man City. <laughs> what was here as well? Roy Hall. I've got my initials in a plug in the ambulance somewhere. Calling Norwich. It's all non-aggressive sort of Absolutely. stuff, isn't it? But nowadays people seem to be in your face with it all. Yeah. something. H. And Evans. Nowadays they get personal though, don't they? Yeah, they do, yeah. God yeah, free. Behave everybody, behave. Yeah. Right. Especially with this COVID thing going on. Oliver, Oliver Phillips. Phillips. 1967. Is it? Yeah, here. <laughs> so you come down here with the boys then you again? There was a day when I used to come down it's one of the drinking stops. Yeah. When I first came in, I'm sure you can tell us all that. What are you talking about? It was only 10, 20 years ago, it's fine. It was probably 1918. That was a good year. tunnels all that go towards the cathedral and from when it was uh, St Peter's Abbey they, they, they think the uh, I know, just take a yeah. I mean generally with ancient cities like Gloucester which is built in 2000 year history mm. uh, the original street level from 2000 years ago is about three feet to four feet below because you can see at the uh, museum of Gloucester can't you you can do yeah and the, the reason that is medieval times, they didn't remove the rubbish, you know, when they, when they took the uh, Bruton, uh, road the car park down, mm. they removed all the, uh, all, the, all the building, you know, they, yeah. they chop it all up and take it away. But in medieval times, they just compacted it down and built on top of it. Mm. So Guess they didn't, didn't have recycling and landfill back, right. <laughs> back then, did they? Or give us our pickups. Well, that's Gloucester's coat of arms. There were the three chevrons and the nine um, 
Torto, as they call them, and uh, the, the uh, three chevrons are from the de Clare family that's up in Worcester, yeah. and they were a very wealthy landowner who dealt with all the uh, monasteries, and they lost a lot of land to the Clare family, mm -hmm. but still kept their, their mark, their mark up there. Right, yes. Okay, so it'll be the next one. Oh. Amazing. It's nice to see, isn't it? Uh, yes, I wanted to see this. It's nice to, to always see, see the outside and then just, you're just yeah. itching to go inside. Because I haven't lived here for long. I haven't lived here five years. So, uh, yeah. so it's nice to yeah. come in and... Just wait up there, please. Oh, I could do with that because that's on my walk. We're off to. You know, like the shore's eggs are the shore's eggs are eggs, something that's really certain. But they used to say the shore is there's a god in Gloucester. Oh, really? Yeah, they used to say that. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah.